Today we will show you the bed leveling tutorial for KP3S. Including the manual mode and the auto mode. First, preheat the printer. Normally we set the nozzle as 210 degrees. And the heat bed as 60 degrees. Preheating will help you get more precise results. Then we just wait for the temperature to reach. We use two types of build plates mostly. Glass 1 and non-glass 1. When using a non-glass one, you need to turn the knob clockwise for a few turns. You don't have to do this every time. It's only necessary when anything changes, such as replacing a nozzle or switching from a glass build plate. The knob determines when to trigger the limit switch. In this video, we will use the glass build plate as an example. Obviously, it's way too much thicker than the other one. That's why we need to turn the knob counterclockwise for a few turns or the nozzle could crash into the build plate. Say it in other words, the limit switch is triggered too late. You only need to do it for the first time and when things change. Alright, everything is ready, let's get started. Click, leveling, then, point 1, it should home all axis automatically. After that, it stops at the point 1. Slide the paper and see if the distance was fine. So the nozzle is too far from the build plate. Lift the nozzle a little bit, then turn the knob clockwise for a few turns. Then start the leveling again. Slide the paper when it stops. So it's too far, we need to adjust it again. Lift the nozzle and turn the knob clockwise for a few more turns. Start bed leveling again. Slide the paper when it stops. So the distance is fine now. And we don't need to do any adjustments, too. So we skip to the second point. Slide the paper and turn the knob to adjust the distance. Once you feel a little scratch but the paper slides smoothly. The distance is okay and you can go to the next point. Then do the same adjustment to the point 3 and point 4. After that, point 5 should have the same nozzle distance. If not, just run the above process again. So the manual bed leveling is done. Lift the nozzle for the auto bed leveling. For those who switched back to the stock firmware, you can unplug the 3D touch to disable it, or you can't do the manual bed leveling. For those who just install the 3D touch, do a manual bed leveling first. After that, flash the firmware. It's currently for mainboard's end with 103 and 303. Mainboard end with 407 will be supported soon. Once it is finished, the printer reboot automatically. Then the ABL feature is ready. Preheat the printer first. Then click Auto Bed Level to start. It will measure the nine points and then stop at the center. Slide a paper to check the nozzle distance. So it's too far away from the build plate. Click up and down to adjust the distance. Slide the paper at the same time. Click the return button to save the value. Lift the nozzle a little bit and take the paper away.
All right, you are all set. Load the filament. Take away the extruded filament. Start to print. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. For any questions please leave comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. So that you will be notified once we updated. Happy 3D printing. See you in the next video.